I'm just going to start with uh, a bit of a definition about chronic post-surgical pain. This is the most widely accepted definition, um, and it's defined as pain that lasts greater than three months after surgery that is not otherwise associated with pre-existing problems or post-operative complications. And I just want to contrast that with acute and chronic pain. Acute pain is something that virtually every human on the planet has experienced. Um, it's typically related to an inciting event, be that trauma or surgery or an underlying disease. Um, and when that inciting event is eliminated, typically the pain goes away. Chronic pain, on the other hand, um, oftentimes whatever the inciting event was is now gone, uh, but the pain persists. And so I guess the last question is, what, what about transitional pain? What is that? And I'm just going to go to my next slide here. Um, this is an area that is of great interest to um, pain researchers and clinicians. Um, and really what we're focused on here is what are the causes of about one in five adults and youth converting from acute pain and developing chronic pain? We know this is a complex process. It involves various factors. Um, definitely genetics and epigenetics plays a role. Um, we know that psychological uh, factors play in strongly here as well. Things like anxiety, depression, catastrophizing, for example. Um, but we also know that um, the experience of acute pain um, for a child, um, especially if it's severe, can be a risk factor for development of chronic pain and surgical factors. So type of surgery, um, is also a, a risk factor. And then obviously social factors. So the child's um, home environment and school environment um, can also play into um, the risk associated with this, with this conversion.